What is going on guys, it is Knives here and today we have something really really weird. So I was in Aldi earlier doing my shop like I do, buying my food and I saw this. This is Yorkshire Pudding Beer. I was in two minds whether to buy this or not but the person I was with was like go on do it because you know you know that you want to and if you don't you're just going to keep being curious and you might never see it again so here we have the yorkshire pudding beer it says yorkshire pudding beer brewery yorkshire pudding beer winner of aldi the next big thing made with real yorkshire puddings 3.6 volume on the back it says yorkshire pudding beer this is not a beer to make yorkshire puddings with it's a yorkshire pudding beer the first and original Yorkshire pudding beer made in the foothills of North Yorkshire Moors. We've got our Yorkshire puddings from our friends at the Real Yorkshire Pudding Co. in Doncaster. Each 500ml bottle of beer contains approximately half a Yorkshire pudding. The beer is soft and smooth with a hint of creaminess at the end of the beer. So, I mean, yeah, it's going to taste like a Yorkshire pudding. Um, obviously, I am from Yorkshire, you can tell by the accent. I know my Yorkshire puddings, I like a Yorkshire pudding, I know how to make a banging Yorkshire pudding. My mum used to make a great Yorkshire pudding before she uh, did the dead, but I haven't had a Yorkshire pudding in a while actually, now that I'm thinking about it. It's been, it's been a while since I've had a Yorkshire pudding, I can't even think when it was, at least two months ago. So uh, I guess we'll see if this tastes like a Yorkshire pudding or not. I'm not going to go through the ingredients, but it's got barley and wheat in it, it's got milk in it and it's also got egg. Serve at 12 Celsius, store upright, recycle it, don't drink it if you're pregnant, 1.8 units. I've never heard of the Yorkshire Pudding Brewery, but I've, uh, I've talked about it enough. I'm just rambling. I've got a glass right here, so uh, let's just pour it out. right there is maybe I'll try and use this on so it doesn't focus on that the color is reminiscent of a golden Yorkshire pudding maybe a bit darker maybe you've burnt them a little bit it smells like bread no it smells like bread dough like if you've ever made bread by hand you can smell it like when it's rising before you put it in the oven it just smells like bread not bad it doesn't really smell like beer no I'm just getting straight fresh bread cheers work out if there was a bug on my glass but it's not it's just I think it's paint how do I describe that it's more like a bitter than anything else it tastes like bread I guess I can see where they're coming from with the Yorkshire pudding but I'm not taste in Yorkshire pudding is first in the mouth that it feels like you're drinking any other better it's quite smooth it tastes like bread but it also feels really watered down it is only 3.6 percent but I've had a lot more low and no alcohol beers that still tasted full and didn't feel thin this feels like it's been watered down like I just said Yeah, no, it doesn't taste like a Yorkshire pudding. I'm kind of disappointed. Bread, definitely like dark, dark bread. Brown bread is what I meant to say, like malt bread. That's what it tastes like, but Yorkshire puddings, <clears throat> Yorkshire puddings don't taste malty, or at least none of the ones I've had taste sort of like malty and yeasty. They don't they don't taste like that. I understand that it's still supposed to be beer and it's supposed to taste like a beer 
but it's supposed to be a Yorkshire pudding beer and they're hyping it up so much that it's got half a Yorkshire pudding in every bottle but it doesn't taste like a Yorkshire pudding, it just tastes like bread. Is that bird? It's not a bird, it's a leaf. To me, it's less Yorkshire pudding beer and more brown bread beer. It's just not, for one, it's not light enough, and for two, it just, it just doesn't taste like a Yorkshire pudding to me. It's too bitter, it's too malty, and it's not, doughy enough, I guess. I don't really know how to explain the flavour of a Yorkshire pudding. It's definitely, the beer's savoury and it's yeasty, but a Yorkshire pudding is not really yeasty. It doesn't taste like yeast, it just... Maybe if they'd put a little bit of gravy flavour in there, I might have thought more of a Yorkshire pudding because who has a Yorkshire pudding without gravy? You always associate the taste of a Yorkshire pudding with gravy. Also, I guess some people put, like, cook them in beef fat. Other people just use vegetable oil and other people use fucking, I don't know what, but I guess beef fat or dripping is the main one. So I guess if they'd have put a little bit of beefy flavour in there, maybe stuck an OXO cube in the mix, it might have been just that little bit better. But for me, it's more just bread beer than it is Yorkshire pudding beer. Give it a 5 out of 10, maybe a 6 for effort, but... It's not a great, it's just a little novelty thing. Don't expect standout Yorkshire puddings. Maybe a little bit of grease flavour. I, I don't know, sometimes, like if you go out for a carvery or something, the Yorkshire puddings can be a little bit greasy, so maybe some beef and some grease added in there would help it, but for me, it's, it's just falling short, so I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. If you like the video, leave a like. Tell me if you go out and try and find the Yorkshire pudding beer, in Aldi. Don't knock it against your glass. Subscribe for more videos. Peace.